hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add environment to our game for the environment i am using this free asset which is available on the unity asset store by the name of sun temple this is the creator name sandro t okay you can go ahead and search for it and when you find it then add it to your asset and if i show you the pictures this is the environment which we will be using okay you can read more about it right here you can check check the asset quality as well and this is the publisher info okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna click on this open in unity and then click on open unity editor and it will automatically open up my project package manager window as you can see and when it is open you can just simply download it and as you can see right here it is mentioned that this environment is not designed for mobile devices because this is a really heavy type of environment all right so let's click on import and when you click on import it will take few minutes okay so just wait for it so after some time it will give you this window import unity package in which you will find all of the things required for this environment okay so just simply click on import that is all you have to do okay and then wait for one or two minutes again so that this package is imported inside our project okay so as you can see it is imported if you check the console and try to clear out this error as you can see it is not going so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on it it will open up this script uh, which is by the name of main drawers and if you double click on it and it didn't open then go to your sun temple folder then go inside pros, uh, post processing then editor then this property drawers and in here you will find this main drawer okay and right here at the top you just have to change this line from using unity engine dot post processing to using post processing min attribute equals to unity engine dot post processing dot minimum attribute or min attribute okay so make sure that you pause the video and type this whole line and when you do that when you get back right here as you can see the error is gone and we have the environment right here okay if you click uh, on the scenes folder and then open up the demo scene as you can see here it is okay this is the whole environment if you check it out okay you can click on game view and from the game view you can play the game and when you play it this game already has a first person controller as you can see which starts from this location so you can check out the whole environment in this first person view as you can see okay this is the whole environment which you which you saw in the introductory video All right so let me tell you that if you have a low end pc or your pc is slow or any laptop which you are using and this map is lagging a bit then i will suggest that you turn off the lights from here okay for example if i turn on the lights okay and then if i'm working in it it will make the editor a little bit slow okay for now we don't have any ai characters or player characters so that's why it is working smooth as you can see but for most of you guys if you have a low end pc then i will suggest that you just simply turn off this scene lightning from here okay just turn it off and it will work really fast okay and also i will suggest that you delete these fire things okay as you can see its name is prop firewood okay so make sure that you delete this because these effects will also slow down your editor as well okay or your game experience if you have a low end pc then i will suggest that you delete this firewood effect as well all right but i'm gonna leave this as it is for mine and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select all of these things okay 
hold down the control button and click on demo scene so it will be not selected then and then I will click on a right click and then click on create empty parent and when it create empty parent I'm gonna name this as environment all right and then I'm, I will close that okay so now all of these things are inside this main parent game object so once you do this then what I'm gonna do is in the assets folder I'm gonna create actually not create because we already have this scenes folder right here so I'm gonna click on Sun temple click on scenes and then I'm gonna drag and drop this demo scene from here to this scenes folder okay and when you do that then I'm gonna rename this to game okay so this will be our main game scene in which we have this map and everything else which we will be adding all right we have the water effects as well everywhere okay and if you check it out in here this is the main temple in which we will set up our mission right here okay so once you add this whole environment what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove that player or you can say that first person controller so let me search for it what was its name let's search for camera and when you search for camera okay this is the camera we will not be using this camera so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna now remove that text and when you remove it in here you will find this first person controller and also in the first person controller you will find this camera all right we don't need the first person controller now because we will be creating our own third person controller so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply disable that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this camera outside all right so let me move this down below this will be a really slow process because we have a lot of objects in the hierarchy so let's just scroll it down slowly right we are moving down if you do this okay move the mouse from left to right as you can see it then scroll really fast all right so let's move the camera down below and then right outside here okay so i think camera is now outside the main environment object okay it's not why 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 all right let me select this second last second object and let me select this and then right click create i mean click on this cre uh, create empty parent and when you do that then let's close that and now we have the camera right here so we can move the camera outside okay and the reason I'm using this uh, camera because on this camera we have the post processing applied okay for example if you delete this camera and then you add another camera then this whole post processing effect will be gone okay as you can see when we disable the script as you can see all of that effects just vanishes okay so make sure that you don't delete this camera okay so now we have the environment we have the camera set up okay in this environment as you can see okay in which we have these effects these water effects and everything so now what we're gonna do is in the next video we will be uh, adding our third person controller right so see you guys in the next one